Hi guys, Jess here and I'm going to show you how to make a flipbook. It's a slight variation on the flipbook that my sister made in the last tutorial. You need to collect six different pieces of coloured stock. I had eight there but you only need six. Now this one is a slightly smaller size than the one Katie showed you last time because I only had one piece of cardstock in an appropriate colour. So I cut that into quarters and then I scored about an, half an inch in on the two outside ones and a quarter of an inch on the two inside pieces. So two were half an inch and two were a quarter of an inch. I then cut the other quarter of the inch off the end so that all four bits of paper were the same size. I then cut three one inch strips. These are going to be used to make your pocket. So I folded these strips in half and I'm going to be gluing those on the inside of the two inside pieces of card. So now I am cutting my um, coloured cardstock and I just cut it so it was a tiny bit smaller than the um, book itself so that it had a little pink border all the way around the edge. So I don't have exact measurements for that I'm sorry I just guessed and checked um, to make it so it was exactly a little bit smaller and then I used that first original one to help me measure and cut all the other six. So cut all six of those and get those ready to glue on. So you can see there that's how your book is generally going to look. So I like to just organize my colors and make sure I'm happy with my layout and my color scheme. So I'm gluing this one onto the front page, onto the first page. And I'll show you in a moment when we move on to the other ones that I was being a bit more specific as to how I wanted the colours to be. I wanted them to be that bluey pink, bluey pink, bluey pink. So I was just getting organised there as to how I was going to lay them out. And on that one in the middle, so on this outside one, you're sticking a coloured piece of cardstock on both sides. On the two sheets in the middle, you only stick a coloured piece of cardstock on the one that faces out. So I'll show you that again now. So I'm saying here only pin it on the one that faces out and you know which one is facing out because the fold is also facing in that direction too. So um, I don't do the back of that one but I now do the facing outside of the other fold and then moved on to the back. I didn't show you all of them. Now to make the actual book these are the two with the biggest fold. So I just join the two folds together and they'll lay open kind of like an, a book laying spine out. Then to do the middle ones I get those folded bits of paper again and I glue them so that the fold is facing the outside. So the fold line is around the outside of the um, the piece of paper. You need to decide where you'd like your opening of your pocket to be. I had mine at the side but you might like it at the top. Then glue your two inside pieces together so it's actually making just one page. Now my um, guillotine does not cut in a straight line so I had to fix up my edges but hopefully yours do. Now as you can see once you've got it all joined together it makes like a T where the fold was and those two folds together end up being about the same size as the other folds were. So glue that down and you've got yourself a little three page flip book with a pocket on the inside. So now I move on to decorating. You can see here that I've got my die cut um, camera and again I'm just going to write hello there and I'm using the plastic pocket just to help be a bit of a guide so that I can make sure it all fits and it's straight and I'm happy with the placement before I stick it on because we all know that once it's on it's a little bit challenging to take back off again. Uh, if any of you follow Felice Loves Paper you can see that I had a go at doing the post-it note decoupage like what she did in one of her flip books. That was a ton of fun and I really enjoyed doing that. Um, got my die cuts and my diamond press out because I want some love hearts to go with those little flags up in the top corner. Now a lot of my supplies are either from Spotlight or Kmart. So my die cut uh, and my dies are all from Spotlight. 
my doilies are from Kmart and those doilies come in three different sizes and they I find those are really cool and really handy to use and they're really cheap so and there's lots of them like I will take me forever to get through those um, doilies so I really like having those so sometimes I don't do the front page first because it can be um, raised and you might have like once I put on one of those bows it's going to be bumpy and to do the inside page might be a little bit of a challenge but I did actually decide to do the front page today because I was really excited and I didn't want to have to wait. Um, you could see in that little container I had there that was a container full of my die cuts so that's where I have alphabet letters and background cuts and oh, a whole bunch of different things. The reason why they're all in there is because most of them are actually from my sister. She has a lot more die cuts than I do. And I just wanted to keep them all together for easier access. I know a lot of people ask questions about how you store your embellishments. So I have mine in type. So I've got those little plastic containers just like Tupperware really. And they're in words and they're in tags and pictures and I also just have a random one of things that I really like and use most often and then I also have four bowls that sit on my desk and inside those bowls are things that are already pre-cut so you can see in the corner there the top bowl has got strips strips of paper and the bowl just under it has got love hearts and I also have another bowl with circles and another bowl with homemade embellishments that are ready to just stick straight onto my flip book or my scrapbook. Uh, my favourite um, punch that I don't actually own but I love, I borrowed one off a friend and just went nuts, is that die, uh, is that bow punch. I love it and I would definitely be investing in a bow something. I know you can get bow die cuts and I desperately want one of those because I love it. It is so cute and I think it just makes the front page just pop. I just think it's adorable. So if anyone knows where you can get those from please let me know because I think I would like it in a die cut. I think that would just be easy, uh, perfect and, and simpler than a punch because the punch you have to punch twice. So I was almost finished with the front cover and then decided it was missing something. It just, oh, I don't know, it just had a space that I wanted to fill. So I got out my stamps. So it's the stamps there, that one says friend. Uh, they're to go with one of the die cuts that I bought um, with the diamond press. And the other ones behind that you can sort of see um, the alphabet, they're just from, yeah, these ones here, they're just from Kmart and they're $4. It was amazing. So there's the capital letters and there's lowercase letters and there's also a bunch of words. So that's obviously kiss hug, kiss hug, but there's a whole bunch of other words as well. Thank you, thinking of you, best wishes, happy birthday for four bucks. It was an amazing buy. I love it. And I've used it so many times and I really only bought it three days ago. So it is my new favourite toy. Okay, so I think I'm just about done on the front page. Yes, moving on to the inside page. So on the inside page, I wanted to display a couple of tags that I made myself and wanted to give away to the recipient of this flip book. So I was just trying to make a bit of a banner there to go um, and hold the tags in. And then I had an idea. I'd really love to use a little bit of ribbon. The girl that's getting this flip book said she's girly and she likes pretty things. I'm like, well, ribbon would be so cute. So I had a big play with my big ribbon stash. And if you're anything like me, you've hoarded heaps of ribbon. So then I had the challenge of deciding what I wanted to use. And I needed it, of course, to match the colours. So I finally decided on that pink and purple one. And... I thought the ribbon might need a little bit of stability so I'm going to glue it or double sided tape it still to that piece of green card that I'd already cut just to make sure it's strong enough. I don't want the tags falling out. So I just put double sided tape on one side, sorry you can't see that but it's just me putting on double sided tape and then I stuck that into the middle of the ribbon because you can see that the ribbon's a bit longer and I wanted that because I want the ribbon the pink ribbon to be the border around the outside so then I put double sided tape again on the next side because it's going to be sandwiched in between the two colors and I put the purple on top then I was worried that it might fray 
I hadn't actually used ribbon in a flip book before and I didn't want it to fray so I cut it to size and I put PVA glue at each end and then I dabbed with my finger the PVA glue all the way around the edge and along the line where I'd cut to to try and stop the ribbon from fraying because I didn't want it to run and then I added a bit more PVA glue and I glued it on and obviously need to leave that to dry showing you that's where I'm going to put my tags but don't want my tags in there yet because it hasn't stuck down and then on to the next page so on this page I decided I wanted to gift my partner some washi tape so I just put it in super duper 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 fast forward and that is just me um, wrapping some Robbie, what, ugh, washi tape sorry, around um, a homemade tag ready to gift on to my um, flip book partner and I also added a little embellishment that I'd when I was making these I'd and thought straight away these would be perfect for this girl and for this flip book so I was really looking forward to adding one of those on and if you'd watch my tutorial on how to make the cupcake pinwheels um, you can see there it is in use there and I love it I just think it looks gorgeous um, I received a flip book from America and my America friend had used those little diamantes on her flip book to me and I'm like I have those at home what a perfect idea so I've really got into using the little diamantes now as well so thank you to my flipbook friend from America for doing that and giving me that idea there's also a line of diamantes in a row along the top of the washi tape it just looks gorgeous it was such a clever idea um, I'm skipping the pink page at the second and going straight to the blue page because I knew exactly what I wanted to put in there and I wanted to make a little bag full of my own homemade embellishments and these are all the embellishments that I have made um, on the other tutorials on our channel so please feel free to watch the other tutorials on our channel to um, learn how to make those embellishments with me so because these are homemade ones I wanted to make a little tag that says handmade and again these stickers are just from Kmart and these are fantastic they're in different fonts and in different colors and that's so cool and they're cheap dirt cheap Kmart is not expensive so that was awesome now rookie mistake I didn't put them on the plastic and I realized after I'd written the word hand or stuck on the word hand it wasn't gonna fit so I had to quickly peel them up before they got too stuck and I just overlapped them a tiny tiny bit and then they fitted in I did have to trim down the E the last letter just to squeeze it on the end but it looks fine and totally fit so that was good and then one of the fringe hearts now my sister actually DIY'd that but it is um, inspired by other YouTube clips to make those fringe embellishments and it was so cute so I wanted to add that on and then sticking on my plastic bag with a bit of washi I was also suggested by my American pen pal that be careful how I stick on those plastic bags because they're hard to get off and I don't want my new pen pal to have to rip her flip book so washi tape was a great idea because it's easy to pull off and then a little bit more of those row of diamantes and then just um, oh my things are dry so I can put in the tabs now I'm going to do the pink page and I decided I wanted to gift my partner some project life cards so I'm just looking through for ones that match the colors so really I just want pink ones and bluey green ones I'm looking through to see what jumps out and girly ones things that are pretty and I think I give her about 10 no reason they were just pretty ones and I thought she might like them so pulled those out uh, and once I'd picked the 10 that she's going to have um, I then made a little pocket to put them in and I actually used a different project life card that um, I just thought the flowers were gorgeous and would make a really nice pocket in this book so I just cut a little pocket out there and the project life cards are gonna get glued in not glued in sorry stuck in so I <laughs> I just flicked those diamantes across the room and was like no I need those so anyway um, I also decided while I was gluing in the pocket that I really liked the idea of putting some decorative washi down the middle. It's not needed. The book is held together anyway. It just looks really cute and I liked the idea so I did that. Um, found one of the 
Diamante stuck on the back of the project life cards. So just adding those onto the page. Went and got some more because I really liked the idea of sticking them in the middle of the flowers, like the flower centers. That looked really cute. So um, I also got my stickers out again and stuck on PL cards. And you can see there I'm just adding the little diamantes into the inside of the flowers. Now I left the back page really, really simple. I got the same thickers, the pink ones, and just wrote, bye. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. Just kept it really simple. The front says, ha, hello, and the back says, bye. Um, I didn't think I needed too much more after everything else that had been going on on the inside. So now for the pocket. Now I've got three things I put into the pocket. So I made three little tabs there because that's how you're going to pull them out of the pocket. Now I chose to cover those in washi tape. You could use Project Life cards, you could use coloured cards, you could use um, card stock, you could use scrap paper, what? Ever you like. I wanted to use this washi because I have three designs in three different colors and I wanted my tabs to look the same. No other real reason. So I did a green one and a purple one and a blue one. So now I have an envelope that my sister made using her envelope punch and a beautiful little flower embellishment that was gifted to me by my friend from America that I just put on the outside of the envelope. That's where I'm going to put my letter. And that's a little pearl that I'm sticking on the very center of the flower. So that's going to be where my pen pal letter is. And it's going to go, I'm just looking where I'd like the tag to be. And it's going to go inside that middle pocket. So I stick on that tag that's going to be used to pull the envelope out. And I don't, um, I had my little word stickers pre-organized because my little word stickers are printed on white cardstock and then I put them onto double sided tape to stick them on so they're not actually stickers and that says read and as you can probably guess the next one says me so read me and that's my first little um, thing in the pockets the next one is going to be my currently list so I've just got a white card stock, a little bit smaller than a Project Life card. I just measured it to fit into my book. And the hearts are stuck on with little foam stickers. And it's where I'm going to write things that I'm currently doing. What I'm currently listening to, what I'm currently scrapbooking, what I'm currently um, watching, what I'm currently reading. Just not all scrap related, just things about me for my new pen pal to learn a little bit about me. And I'm going to write that on later. So checking where I want the next tag because I obviously want all three of them to be seen from inside the pocket. And on that little tag it says currently. I also decided that I wanted some little diamantes. So I get my di diamantes off letters. And I just use the letter Z at the moment because it's really not a common letter that I use. So I'm just pulling each individual one off the Z. Now that is my wood burning kit. I brought one of those to do decorations on a gift of a um, chopping board. So all I'm doing is I've got a everyday plastic pocket and I am running my wood burning tool which is a little bit like a soldering iron along the plastic pocket and once you've done that it just sort of rips out but it's all held together which is amazing now just like a fuse you need it to do the dotted line now this is a soldering iron so it's not going to do a dotted line and if I do a straight line it's going to pull the pocket in half so I just dot myself all the way along there so now I've got two little compartments inside but I would like four little compartments so I'm going to do another dotted line all the way across the center. So now I've got four little compartments. Two of them I can access, two of them I can't because I've just um, stuck it shut. So I just get my scissors and carefully make a little incision and cut an opening in the top. So if you've got a wood burning tool, if you've got a fuse, you can do this. You could also just get the two by two um, photo pockets that they sell with the Project Life kits. So inside here, I put a hole bunch of goodies. Just go to my stash, lots of stickers, lots of die cuts, just anything that I feel like gifting on to my pen pal. 
um, there's a whole set of stickers there that I um, wanted to give her just for fun, some brads, just lots of little things. So I stuffed those into each of the different pockets. And then I want to seal them shut so I get some washi tape. And I use the washi tape uh, to seal along the top of the opening on both sides. So there, that's sealing along the middle opening and this one's over the top opening so none of the bits can come out. I also just decided um, for fun to put it along the bottom and down the middle just so it looks cute. That's purely decorative. The other two were to hold the openings closed but this one's purely decorative. So because it's just a plastic pocket my flipbook pal can cut it open, they can pull off the washi and um, get the things out. If they want to reuse it, they can do that too. It's totally up to them. So then I stick on my last tag and this one says goodies. I just think this is a super cute way to share um, some of your gifts and some of your goodies sticking on a few more diamantes. And I got this idea again from Felice Loves Paper. So totally scrap stole that off her. And then love and there's a tiny little word sticker that you almost can't even see on the goodies packet. I'm just about to put on that says this. And it says love this. So here is my finished product. So there's my front page. And you can see the tabs down the side there. Inside page with the two tags. My um, ribbon banner. The gift of some washi. And my patty can, patty pan embellishment. The Project Life cards, and I super love the diamantes on there, that looks so cool. My handmade embellishments, and then my buy on the back. And then my three inside pockets. Um, I'm so happy with this uh, flipbook, guys. I love it, and I hope this has helped inspire you to have a go at making a different kind of flipbook yourself. Try some ribbon, get out those diamantes, make some of your own embellishments and just have a blast. It was so much fun doing the pockets and I definitely am going to do this one again.